Hey guys, Squirrel Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with the bear. Last time, Calvin, you weren't here with us. Nope. Last time, when Michael was revealed. It was. And uh, it was I quite can't. shocking. It was. <laughs> it was. I was so shocked, I didn't even know I should be shocked. <laughs> uh, I had a tough time recognizing him for a bit with the longer hair. Yeah. Um, I've seen him more recently and like yeah, I've seen a, a episode of his podcast and stuff he's got a great podcast John Berthal yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool but like with the hair and a completely different like personality and attitude mm -hmm. uh, than what he normally portrays and one of the I first I thought he was like a, a much much younger uh, Fred Ward <laughs> really <laughs> no um, uh, huh. Earl from Tremors yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And Tremors too. But, no. It's, hmm. it's a... It's a... I like it, but it's also, like, super disappointing. It's like, uh, we're not going to be able to see him, you know? Yeah, maybe he'll pop up. Except, I, sure. And, like, more flashbacks yeah. and stuff like that. But and I'm assuming very limited Aaron exposure. reminded me last time, too, but, like, one of the first places I've ever seen the actor that plays... Uh, Richie cousin Richie yeah Richie yeah he was micro from Punisher yeah so it makes sense yeah. to me I think oh, we yeah. got both of them in here yeah. it is it is cool yep. cousin all right well we met Michael um, and we had some other spots about Michael last time mm -hmm. as well but let's just go ahead and jump into this one. I mean that dish is ready now this is Sufjan Stevens this is Chicago <laughs> You know who should have sang Chicago? Chicago. Kansas? No. Chi Chi I Chicago. The, the band, Chicago. You ever watch Little Nicky? <laughs> Why does this feel like it should be like the first episode? Or a movie. It's a yeah. bootstrap pilot. That looks like a building that was made of plates. Dark Knight. This is this where like they shot that yeah. in Chicago. This is where like he like he t bones oh. the truck. Yeah. yeah. Or he gets t boned. Yeah, something like that. I was just trying to make Black the light <laughs> or something like that, right? Yeah. God changing. I'm fascinated by the intersection of the Star Wars and the progressive... Dude, he's filling our ears. The word I would choose now after my most recent meal is at the well-loved, if not shabby establishment, uh -huh. is elevated or elegant. Mm -hmm. The menu is slightly updated. 20 minutes and to open, chef. Chef. Did you set up? Uh, yes, chef. Right. Nice little review then. Mm -hmm. yeah. Changes are coming. Chef, stop reading that shit. We especially, got a lot to do today, okay? We open at 20. Especially in a time where, like, a bunch of places are closing down and everybody feels like, oh, the energy is being lost. Might get a bit of a rush today. So, as uh, delicious as ever, but the standout dish that exists, that encapsulates all this was the risotto with great feet. The rice was luscious with... Uh, so she gave it to a reviewer? She didn't even know. Was that the guy that she gave it to last time? Well, I gave a dish to a customer because I didn't want it to go to waste. I obviously didn't know who Chef, it was. It's all good. Oh. Okay, so, you know, it was an accident, and, and it's fine, right? Like, it's not weird or anything. Like Good weird. for business. Right, yes, Congrats. exactly. But people are going to want that dish, aren't they? Yep. Um, he needs to know, do you need to teach him how to work in the kitchen? Today? <laughs> Sure, Tina. Today, the day we're running the new program. Um, Chef Sidney, you got that, right? Yeah. The teaching or the new program? But it was the coriander tinted Okay, Ibra, let's get meat. to work. Please, <laughs> thank you. Louis. No, what are you reading? <laughs> you love how every finish. little tiny lull in conversation you just starts reading again. This guy's a hacky fuck, right? That's exactly what I see. Yo. Why is he talking about risotto, cousin? We don't have risotto on the menu. That's a uh, dish that Sydney's been working on. And then how did this fucking mama Luke try it? Mama Luke. 
gave a dish that's not on the menu to a guy who happened to be a food critic. No, it's just, it's hard to digest. Sydney, boxes. Yes, Chef. Thank you so much. Okay. It's a ribbon of rhyme. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the to goes in ten minutes, so we're gonna count off, all right? We're actually doing the to goes, huh? Fellas, I gotta talk to Sydney. Excuse me, lizards. Just um, take this and do this over by the deli counter. Okay. Yes, yeah. thank you. Look at these big long one shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what you want to do from the beginning, right? You know, you push my people out. Okay. Yeah, you know, push out the working man, make room for the whatever fucking jabronistas this stupid article is going to bring Sorry, in. Sorry, um, are you the new face of the working man? Right. Richie, congrats, that is huge. Yes. We uh, make food in the restaurant. We all try to do a good job. I don't know about you, but anyway, people come and they buy their food with money and they spend their money and then uh, we take our earnings and um, just, you know, live our lives. That's it. It's business. The point of this is that it is a business, not uh, some sort of uh, hollow shell you can project your dying um, Chef, yes. uh, sorry, I just don't uh, feel like we're on the same page right now. I we're feel good, like chef. we're not good. Let's get through the day, please. Yeah. What? Ah. What? What happened? So, so many go, orders. To go, to go, to go, to go, to go. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I, uh, 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 oh, I don't know. Uh, you left the pre-order uh, option open. Okay, uh, oh. no. Please. Sorry. Yes. Fuck. 38 salads and 255 yeah. sandwiches due up in eight minutes. So, yes, it's fuck. Um, I fucking told you. You didn't fucking tell I me fucking shit. Told you. Shut the fuck up. You didn't, Richie, you didn't say anything about that. Tina, sausages, burgers, hot dogs, everything on the grill. Fire everything yes, right fucking now. Fire everything. Cook it. Get it hot. Ready to serve. Hot and sweet. All right, I'm going to take green tape, make those sections. Louie, yes, I want sir. you to get the sandwiches, put them oh, in the corresponding shit. sections. I love these one shots. They this do a lot of them. nuts. This is a long one. It really keeps you in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah it does. Do you even know how to do fries? Yes, I know we need them now. Okay, um, Marcus, where are we on cakes? Uh, get in there. He's still behind. Marcus, what the fuck are you doing still working on this shit? Is he still going to do it right now? Okay, I'll fire everything now. I just was finishing Step talking out. to Marcus and Step I... out. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Marcus. Step, get the order the fuck off my expo chef now! Get the fuck off! Thank you! We're firing! 76 beefs, 34 chickens, okay? 12 french fries, 12 mash, fucking now! Yes, Thank you! Dude, we should turn off pre-orders. Yeah. Well, they've already been pre-ordered. Ah! You didn't say corner. Fuck. She didn't you, don't, you don't need to curse at me Fuck. like a maniac. You, you didn't say corner. Fucking maniac. It's your maniac. bullshit that fucked us today, not mine. He's so happy that he didn't get in trouble. <laughs> Chef, hey, prep Jordan there. Fuck, we uh fired two more cakes to go. No, no fired two orders. more cakes. No to more go. fucking. They just are you in. fucking dead? Oh, I'm sorry. You're extra fucking confusing the name. Sharky! Oh, Back, get him one. Carmi is very mad. <laughs> Carmi is very mad. You are a loser. You're a loser. No, Richie, yeah. you're the fucking loser. You're a loser. You you're you're a conceited and condescending ribbon of brine. Rib ribbon of brine. Waste space here. You are a fucking loser. And that is why you hate that I'm here, right? Because I see you. You're the loser that you fucking are. And everybody knows it. I feel like he's going to snap. So how about you go to the register and do yo, the one yo, fucking thing you know how to do? Why are you being do? such a fucking bitch I right now? I don't know, Richie. Why am I? Oh, you're going to fucking stand yeah, maybe me? Maybe I fucking will. Yeah. Jordanera, shut the fuck up! Yo, Carmen, keep Carmen. Just the loss of control. doing wrong. You know, oh, my God. Why is he still fucking working on the donuts? Why are you fucking with me? 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 Huh? Get the fuck back to work. Move! Holy shit. Everybody! Fuck? Fucking idiots! Yo, cousin, just fucking... Shut the fuck up! Ah. Oh, shit! Did she just stab him? I got stabbed. Not right now. I got stabbed. Son of a fucking... Oh, Abra! One minute! Abra, I got stabbed. Probably fucking deserved it. Yeah, m maybe. <sighs> the chaos. Oh, we just cut back into it. Okay. Abra 
Make that fucking fast. I'm trying. Ugh. Ugh. Don't move. Right on his fucking ass. I mean, it's a better place to get stabbed. Yeah, there's not much important. It wasn't there. like in his back, you know. Yeah. We don't have any more. Fucking find them, god fucking damn it, Tina. Do you guys have risotto? Do you guys have risotto? Chef, <laughs> <laughs> we good. She's cracked. Dude, everyone's broke. We are good. not good, chef. No. What the fuck are you talking about? You are an excellent chef. What are you doing? You are also a piece of shit. What are you doing? This isn't on me. What are you doing? Good luck. You cracked under pressure. Tastes good, doesn't it? Yo, cousin, there's a fucking line. Are we open or not? Uh. It just keeps fucking printing. <laughs> the noise. Yeah, it's been going non-stop since they turned it on. Jeez. Since the episode started. Damn, Jesus. <laughs> it was still won't end. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Hey, before we jump into this discussion, uh, and we do kind of talk about it in the discussion, this episode was all one shot, and there's a lot of uh, work and creativity and sweat and blood and tears that goes into that type of thing. But we did not notice that it was all one shot. Uh, we noticed the long shots. Yeah, very we long We mentioned shots. it in the reaction, and we, we yeah. will talk about it in the discussion, but who does this thing where they leave in the commercial break like little bit of recap thing after the yeah. commercial break where they bring you back into it yeah and we saw that as a cut just one of those little subtle things that interrupts and your mind doesn't yeah. even ca capture it but i mean i was, honestly was so engrossed with how tense the entire episode was i wasn't even looking out for oh yeah all one shot that's insane so sure. no it kept you involved the whole yeah. time it was really good yeah 19 or so minutes yeah like, that beats out the, the hallway in Daredevil. Yeah, that was like, what, 14? 14? Something like that, yeah. Now, I'm sure there's records and stuff like of, of something like that that have been kept. But it's always an achievement. It's always Children something. of Men. That's, Children, yeah, that's the record. And <laughs> yeah. 1917. Yeah. Oh, there's some other movies. Oh, okay. Anyway, it's, <laughs> uh, we just wanted to make sure that we, uh, we acknowledge the hard work that went into that. And mm -hmm. we didn't notice the first time. So there's always something to be noticed the second time, I guess, right? Second the time. second, second of time. time. You're not even Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they just they kept <sighs> upping and upping and upping the tension and never resolved it. I know. <laughs> it I, was, I think that's what my crazy. problem with the episodes have been is that like a lot of it keeps kind of doing that, and when I think that there's going to be kind of a resolution to it, it yeah. kind of just stops. Yeah. Same thing happened with like uh, last episode with like Richie, right? There wasn't yeah, really yeah. like that resolution with Richie. There's my assumption that he called the cops yeah, on those yeah. one guys, but it's not really like resolved necessarily for the audience. Yeah, it doesn't. Same thing here, right? And I, I, I mean, I guess it was... that's real, I suppose. Not everything's yeah. always resolved I... in real life, right? For, specifically for this episode, I loved it. Like it just never let you go, and never let the characters go, and no one could take a break, and it all just tumbled forward. That's nuts. Sure. It's hard to keep the tension up like that. And I don't know where, like with all the issues that happen here, like I don't know where all the blames should go necessarily. Like maybe, maybe Carmen was right in that they weren't ready for to-goers yet, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. Sydney pushed it, so maybe he went for it, and then they weren't ready. But then Sydney also did the pre-order thing, so then now they were really behind on that. The... Maybe the review that happened, too, because she gave that guy that risotto, mm -hmm. maybe that pushed the pre-order things even more to where people were mm -hmm. wanting to come and get this stuff. Sure. That one guy sure. said, do you have risotto, right? Yeah. As a customer, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, probably a lot of them yeah. were, like, they did see that article and was like, oh, I want to try this place. <clears throat> yeah. See what's what's happening, you know? So, yeah, it's just... But Richie also hasn't been helping with a lot of it, you know? He's been very anti-change. Mm -hmm. He's been actively, like, hurting the progress I mean, 
When the bridge got stabbed. Yeah, Sydney, <laughs> like somehow, Sydney came came away looking worse than Richie did. And she laid into him, but she was at her wit's end. You know, like she just like there's the logical part of it all where you're trying to find okay who's actually at fault, but then there's the there's the the non logical just anger building and it's like not sure. relieving the tension so it doesn't even matter whose fault it is now we're just all in this spot in this space you know sure like Richie constantly has been against all the change yeah. and causing problems like mm-hmm. so much right so that just has been sticking with Sydney yeah every time she's like we're gonna try the brigade yeah. we're gonna try this now he's fighting the risotto and mm-hmm. saying that she has an agenda you know yeah. where she's like I just want this business to so succeed so there's like the way that Michael used to do things and then there's the way that Sydney wants them to turn. And then like you kinda had this feeling that Carmi has an idea, but he's also like letting everybody else like Okay, yeah, we can Well yeah, he, I, he he doesn't want to be the chef that was whispering the shitty things in his ear yeah. at at that restaurant and at school. Like mm-hmm. he doesn't want to be the psychopath. Yeah. But in order to run a kitchen that tight, you have to be that kind of person. You know, you yeah. can't be well, everybody's friend. I think a lot of it is that he's not He's leaving it on Sydney to make the changes, and he's sure. not taking the lead of that too. Like, he could come in, I feel like, more and say, "Here's the things that we need to change," and be right there with Sydney if they're changing those. But then you also got to tell Sydney no for things that you're not ready for. Like, yeah. if they're not ready for the to go, then he should be saying, "No, we're not ready for the to go." Yeah. But if we're wanting to make progress towards this, he should be pushing against Richie mm-hmm. on these subjects or pushing against sure. Tina on these subjects, and not just leaving it for Sydney yeah. all the time. Though, maybe that helps with Sydney earning respect from Tina, for example, where mm-hmm. that did happen, right? And that wouldn't have happened if he had been, like, keeping them separated and holding their hands the whole yeah. time. Like, they had to work through that themselves in sure. order to get that progress. And I thought maybe we'd go that way a little bit with Richie with maybe last episode. Where, I thought we did, too. Where Sydney did the sandwich thing and calmed down she, the situation while Richie was like, Where's my gun? <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> But I love that so much. <laughs> he's just grabbing pants and looking at he's looking every gun. pot. Like, what are you fuck stole my gun? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you keeping your gun in a pot? <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, maybe. And that's how we found out that he yeah. knew about the Usually situation. like th- these characters kind of like ride the wave of controlled chaos, but here it was it was like perfectly out of control. Yeah. Yeah. I do think and Marcus good. should not have been working on those donuts though. Well, yeah. The yeah. fact that he was but still I mean, and brought it over to Carmen yeah. was like, here's his donut. When it's like, we need 25 cakes. You haven't cut these cakes at all yet. But like, and yeah, they, they, they needed like how many slices of cake? It was like 80 some slices of cake. Well, what, and it was also said before, he's like, I'm fine with you working on these donut things, but you need to get your other yeah. shit done first. Yeah. See, everybody's like was operating like there's a reason that they're going slightly crazy today. And his is actually passion. Which can it can cause you to to go off the mark sometimes when you're passionate about something. Mm-hmm. So I, I like that there was like a there's desperation, there's being at your wits end, there's there's all these little different reasons why they all just blew that up. That one guy perfectly. just still reading that review. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then like even you know Louis the the kid being in there, mm-hmm. it's like I would just be like just, you gotta you, he cannot be here today. You gotta send him home. Like, yeah. But I mean she has nowhere else to take him. I guess. Sure. I guess. And then that. You know, then, before they even walked in, it already yeah. was causing stress. Then I would be like, S- you sit in the lobby. Yeah. You or, sit in the lobby, don't yeah. go anywhere. Wash yeah. dishes, fold boxes, go, something. Go like play that. ball breaker. Yeah. Or yeah. something, you know? Yeah. This is not the day for me to try to teach a kid how to be a chef. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, do you... So, she just... I did kind of feel that was a strange moment in that previous episode where she just took the food and just gave it to someone... Uh, randomly, but like it, for sure it for sure was random. Yeah, right. I think so. I mean, it seemed like it was a food reviewer that didn't know. Yeah. Like, I mean, they it, didn't know there was a food review person. It coming. is a hell of an act, like of an accident. A coincidence. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's that part of Richie well, where you might want to be like, "It is it though," you know, and you want to be like, "It is a big d- accident, I guess." I don't know. There may be a line too of like one, how many people come and stay inside yeah. and eat inside. Also, she said most of the other people come in and they buy, like, one sandwich and sh- split mm-hmm. it and then drink water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas maybe he came in and was actually, like, getting, like, sure. let me get one of the meals. Let me actually sit here and eat everything. And yep. she's like, you know what? I'll give him this dish, too, see if he wants it. Because he's a, you know, if I had, like, a pizza at a place where I'm like, 
How much? This pizza is gonna be thrown away. There's nothing I'm gonna do with this. And someone bought like four pizzas. Like, hey, mm-hmm. you want a fifth pizza? I just had this. Like, I might give sure. him that. But if there's a guy who comes in all the time and like is more problem than like coming in and getting yeah. stuff, like maybe I won't give him that pizza. You know? Sure. Do you think that Sydney has a small problem with ego? Um, I mean, maybe a lot of the chefs I mean, do. I, I do like that Carmi came in and like he spread out his authority to everybody. Everybody's chef, right? Like okay. they they like they succeed together, they fail together. But like she has a like a feeling of like, oh, that was my food that was being reviewed, and it's like, does the words like elevated and elegant is that coming from me or is that coming from others? You know, I wonder if that's a a thing they have going on too. I think a lot of them do. I don't think it's just Sydney. Yeah. I, think, yeah, I think Tina does as well. Sure, um, that was part of her. But it, sometimes it feels like her or maybe Marcus or different ones like have the ego, but also have a lack of confidence at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like I felt like Marcus was also like, "Oh, my bread's great." Sure, but then Carmi was like, "Put a tray of water in yeah. there and it just moisten it up." And he's like, "Oh, damn, this is better." But before that, he was like, "My bread's great." Nothing, sure. Nothing wrong with my bread. He was convinced that the way he was doing it all along was the best way. Yeah. Same with Tina, I feel like. Yeah. The same kind of idea. But a mixture of that could also be that maybe they don't feel that they know as much as like maybe Carmi or Sydney mm-hmm. do as well. So I don't know. I think Sydney and Carmi probably both have an ego on them as far I, as like, I think so. What they there's do. just sometimes there's lines, like especially from Carmi. There was one in this one where they were talking about how Rich needs to learn how to use the tab. And he came out being like, yes, that's what I said. Your idea, but yes. Like, he, like, threw in the idea, like, hey, that was yours. And I didn't say anything, but we're doing it, you know? I don't know. There was, like, a feeling in there to me of, like, yeah, it was maybe either... him getting upset that he's not as strict as Chef Jeff. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> that he used to be under. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. I guess he he, he definitely a... has a feeling of, like, he's losing what control he thought was appropriate. Yeah. I don't know. I, I did kind of get that feeling. I also thought that it might have been like he didn't want to take credit for something that was her idea. Mm-hmm. I mean, you get both Rather than that, right? like pushing pushing responsibility off yeah. of himself. It, you know? it's, it's either you push out the responsibility or if this succeeds, well, it was your idea. I just agreed. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe it could be the other because I don't know. Like, I don't remember really seeing a conversation where they agreed to do to go. I remember talking before about like risotto and to go and that they weren't ready for it yeah. and that different stuff too. And but I don't remember the, the I didn't realize this was gonna be like to go is ready to go. Yeah. 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 Apparently awesome. they've they've gotten rid of their C rating though. Oh did they say that? I I I, I assume because like they're getting reviewed and everything like that. Like they didn't warn about like they hey, said this is Still rated a C. Maybe a month has passed. They said they needed to wait a month until yeah. they could come back. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get a good time yeah. line of this lots of times. Yeah. Like, I don't know how much time has gone. Is it the next day? Mm-hmm. Is it a week from now? Like, I usually don't know. Yeah. And then also, I mean, I, I, I realize this might be a, not a mistake, but a thing with a version that we're watching here on Hulu. But this is like the first time I really noticed, like, oh, yeah, that was just an artificial cut. For a commercial, because when they came back, it like showed the same two or three seconds again, but it was the same two or three seconds of a long one shot. So I'm like, oh, they put an artificial commercial break in there, and they leave it in this version. So I know some people were talking about in full length, like every once in a while there's like this weird break that happens. Mm-hmm. So we're mm-hmm. getting these weird commercial breaks, but I only noticed it here because it happened in the middle of a giant long one shot. Yeah. Sure, yeah. I just wonder how many more I haven't noticed. Yeah, I thought my brain buffered for a second. But like, <laughs> yeah. we were watching another character. Yeah. Because, I mean, that happens all the time, but never during a one shot. Sure. I definitely <laughs> noticed it there. Yeah. Where I was like, man, was there only one commercial in this episode? Sure. But I didn't notice it through the rest of the, yeah. ep- the episode at all. Mm-hmm. I also, I, the one shots they do, like, it wasn't like the whole episode, I don't think it was a one shot, but yeah. it keeps you so kind of in the kitchen, I feel like just kind of moving back and forth from where they are because yeah. of the chaos it just feels like you're in there it gets like the it point. makes me think of being in like restaurant like back yeah. behind the scenes like just being there where everyone's like throw this in gotta no. make this I, this was no, also the shortest episode by far it was 19 minutes long wow not including the credits, uh, and, stuff. The credits and stuff so it was it snapping is, pace wise it does have that feeling almost of like 
yeah, this show's about the kitchen, not necessarily the characters. At least this sure. episode. Sure. <laughs> well, yeah, cooks can come and leave, but the kitchen's yeah. always the kitchen. Hmm. The chaos in the kitchen. Carmi is really mad. <laughs> Man, I would not patronize him when he's that mad. That's <laughs> right across yeah. from me. But yeah, there's just, I don't know. Is I, I love whenever shows can just give you a master class in tension. It's, it was just, it was the building of this, the ambient noise. Dude, the stab got the, me. Yeah, the stab. Like, oh, shit, it stabbed him. Yeah. <laughs> but even just the ring in the background of a, of a, of a phone that's never answered. And the, 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 the sound of this more coming out. Yeah. Just, I already don't do well with ambient noise, and it just, oh, man. It was played masterfully here, because I, I was just so uncomfortable and never got a chance to reset. Like, yeah. please stop, it's so loud, I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> yeah. Maybe 19 minutes is all we can go. <laughs> well, yeah, any longer than that. Dude. Yeah. All right, well. <laughs> I wonder if Sydney will actually be done, or if there'll be like a conversation, or if, yeah. just, if she's just gone now. I don't know. We'll see. I've yeah. seen this in Hell's Kitchen. You've seen, you seen like, what? I've seen like chefs just leave, quit. Usually, like Gordon goes and talks to him, like maybe the I've next day. I've seen both like, happen. I've seen one chef that gets pissed off, and he's like, My food is so good! And he's like, I quit! He's like, yeah, you better off without him. That person's a better chef. And it's yeah. like their sous chef who's like, all right, you know, and then they take over instead. But I've also seen where someone quits and leaves and then he goes and talks to him and he brings I'm them too, back. Like if he yeah. thinks they're necessary. Yeah. Yeah. I'm too cynical. I always think those that's fake. Like, I mean. We brought a show here because our restaurant's so bad. And then you're going to get that freaked out on the first night of service? I don't know. It, it screams of like reality show. I mean, some of it I'm sure me. is, but. I'm not saying it I is. I'm saying my, I'm broken, and based I see it. On, based on the egos <laughs> of people that I've seen Some, in that industry, I yeah. think some of it's definitely. Sometimes as well, it's not like, oh, you brought this here. It's these owners brought in Gordon Ramsay, yeah. and this chef sure. is the one yeah. who's upset, being like, no, the food's good. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And the owner's like, well, we know there's issues, yeah, but definitely. you need to tell us what these issues yeah. are. I don't know what to say the food's bad. Like, I don't know what's wrong with the food. Chef swears it's good, you know? And then that guy gets all pissed Gordon Ramsay off. says it's terrible. He's, I think it's terrible. Or, or Gordon changes the whole menu and the chef gets all mad that it's not his food and stuff. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't really know how to cook. So he bounces. Sure. He just memorized how to cook his stuff, yeah. but not actually and it wasn't even good. learned how to cook. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I mean, you can say it with most reality show, right? Oh, yeah. Like, and it's a it's a thing that's broken me anyway. Because I'll I'll have, uh, you know, Jancy will come over and be like, check out this viral video. And I'll be like, why were they filming? She's like, what? And I'm like, why were they filming? This is fake. She's like, you ruin everything. <laughs> no, it's, it's a subreddit of like exposing viral videos and stuff. Like, why were they filming? <laughs> why is Nothing was filmed? happening before this thing happened, and they yeah. just happened to catch it in frame. Yeah. Yeah. Why you ruin everything? I don't know. I'm sorry. I ruin stuff for Carmen, too. Guys, thank you so much for watching The Bear with us. Uh, we're uh, still moving on. Did Sydney leave? Will we, she be back? I don't know. But find out next week, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. But you can see more right now with blindwave.com. Early access, full length. Blindwave.com, we're on season two. Oh, Holy shit. Oh.